Well, he's been uh, for years. He's been one of our regular guests. He's a dear friend of mine, whether it's fashion or crafting. Christopher Straub always brings his creativity to our show. Well, back in 2009, he went to another show. He made a name for himself competing on the sixth season of Project Runway. Look. My name is Christopher Straub. I'm 29 years old from Shakopee, Minnesota. Due to a death in the family, I was never really able to go to, to college and go to design school, but, but I worked on it by myself and I think I've done pretty good without it. I'm pretty good at using the resources I have available to me, like this dress right here. This was probably about three yards, so it cost three dollars. I think that's pretty hot. I've always had this saying, and it says, someday you'll be amazing. And so this is my someday. This is his someday. He's been amazing for a while, though. Christopher was crowned a fan favorite and placed fifth during his season. Audience, give it up for Christopher Straub, everybody. Hi, friend. That got me kind of choked up. What? Yeah. Like that, you, that little kid. Yeah, you <laughs> said to me during the, during the watching, you leaned over and you said, I'm getting nauseous. It's, uh, it's, why? It's, it's interesting to watch that because it's not from my perspective and and I also want to say that like before being on TV I really didn't know what I looked like so when I was watching the TV y'all didn't knew, have mirrors I knew but I it's like I couldn't I didn't have that recognition where I could look at a photo and know it was me in the photo like I just didn't have that sort of awareness and seeing myself on TV was weird because I recognized everyone else in the room because they were my friends so we yeah. were filming together and it was that oh that guy's kind of funny but I didn't recognize it as me is it uh is it, is it like when you hear your, someone hears your voice on their voicemail uh -huh. and they're like, that's what I sound like? That's something you have to get, well, yeah. you and I, like we yeah. have to get used to real quick. You have to take that part out. Okay, so you're doing this Instagram series yes. uh, on your Instagram, Schmishtifer, go follow Schmistifer. right now. Uh, uh, it's a great series, explain it, and then tell me why now. Right, well this was, so what I'm doing is giving you sort of a behind the scenes at what life was like filming a TV show from my perspective, yeah. from my season. I try not to include other people uh, uh, if I don't have to because I don't want to bring anyone else in, but I am a fan of reality TV. Yeah. I want to know from the moment you wake up to the moment you went to bed, what happened during that and what we're not seeing because so much of this gets edited down for TV. Like I knew this first episode where I ended up winning, uh, spoiler alert, yeah. <laughs> um, like we shot for three days. For and this it, one thing? For this one episode and it, and it all aired, it was you know, 44 minutes of airtime. So it's like all of that stuff that went on behind the scenes that had nothing to do with me or was this the stuff you don't see or are, is that part true? What part is stretched? And I go into that on my Instagram, calling it behind the seams yeah. kind of stuff. And it's a big you're, old series of stuff. First of all, good name. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> also, you're just going to get little tidbits here, a little appetizer. You're going to hear the full stories obviously on the Instagram. Mm -hmm. So give me the small story casting, because I think a lot of people, uh, if they want to go on the show, they're like, right. well, well, how do you get cast? How did you get cast? Well, it's different for different TV shows, like for American Idol, you see that. You see someone just yes. walk up by themselves and they just sing in front of somebody. For, for Runway, you need to fill out a many page application. I can't remember what I put on there, th maybe 30 pages of, of the application, but you also need to show up to a casting line up outside of a hotel with all the other aspiring designers. You have to have your portfolio with you and three looks, a completed looks, that if you get to the part where you're being filmed in front of the judges, you put them on a rack and you talk about your looks. Weren't you originally told, didn't they kind of fib to you or they just, uh, not fib, but were you, they told you you were an alternate? Oh, I was an alternate. I was, when I was. Girl, you were like Miss Universe. I, I, it was like, you know, <laughs> if Miss so, Universe can't fulfill her, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. that's, yeah, that they, they, so I got through all of this casting on season six and I had applied for seasons three, four, five, and six and I had got further every time. And then on season six, they said, you will get a call on Tuesday or Wednesday, letting you know if you're on the show. And I'm like, well, if I'm getting a call, I'm on the show, right? And so they give me a call and they say, um, unfortunately, you're not part of our cast. Like, we liked your whatever, but like, um, and, I, and I can't remember how it came up, but they, I said, am I, so I'm, I'm done, I'm out. And they go, well, I guess technically you're an alternate. If somebody gets hit by a bus, we'll give you a call. <laughs> 
So Did that, somebody get hit so by a bus? Saturday, that sa so I'm all depressed. And Saturday at 1 p.m., I got a call, and it was saved in my phone as Project Runway. And they literally said, what are you doing tomorrow? I had to, I had to get on a plane at 7 in the morning to start filming the season on Monday. Who got hit by a bus? Um, <laughs> I do actually have information on that, because people were, because the, the, the sound people have little cards with their names on them, because they haven't learned each other's, or they haven't learned who is everybody. Yeah, how would they? And yeah. I, so I won the first episode, and I go back to the green room by myself, and they're filming me, and the sound guy goes, which one are you? And I wasn't on their card. So they hadn't even updated their card. So if you talk about authenticity, that was real, because that was something that didn't even play out on the show. Wow, so you know, so you saw, I mean. I saw that my face was missing, yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> but again, no one really got hit by a bus. Don't take me literally on that one, yeah. I, I don't, can don't, don't take confirm me. nor deny. Yeah, we can't <laughs> confirm nor deny. Yeah. Go to Christopher's Instagram for more on that one. Okay, we do. We have more behind the scenes secrets from Project Runway with Christopher after the break. Back after this. Oh, that's good. I've never heard that story from you. Yeah, no, no. That's... Uh, welcome back. More now with our friend Christopher Straub chatting about his time uh, on season six of Project Runway. Correct me if I'm wrong, yes. one little nugget. Yes. This was, by the way, the first, you had a controversial season. Right. Because this was the first season, correct me if I'm wrong, on Lifetime. On Lifetime. So there was a legal battle between Bravo and Lifetime at the time, and all the blogs were saying the lost season of Project Runway. We had already filmed it, and I was sitting back, I couldn't tell anyone. It was a year from when we filmed, started filming to when it aired. And we had to keep that all secret. No one knew. We weren't allowed, at that time, they, the producers even said to us, don't friend each other on Facebook. Like, that was the only communication that, like... Different era. Yeah, right? So... What was Tim Gunn? I, I, I know this seems... I hate asking questions I, like this, but this is really what the, one, yeah. the, the audience wants to know. What was Tim Gunn like? He's the same guy. Yeah. Right? Like, and he's an educator, right? So he lets you think for yourself. He asks you those questions. He go like... Uh, be thoughtful with the styling or rethink that hemline like that doesn't mean change it it means stare longer at it <laughs> yeah figure, figure out a solution but that guy the guy that I idolized from TV is talking to me what a in weird my feeling. face yeah. right and then he ended up writing about me in one of his books and I'm like that's the guy from TV wrote about me yeah yeah Every interaction I've had with him, he's he's very he's sweet. A delight. He's, he's a, a delight. He's a delight. He's so put together. He's always like tugging at his. Oh, you know. Like, I think he walks around with an iron. You yes, know what I mean? Right. Just to re-iron like himself. This, yeah. You know, making sure he's perfect. Um, and let me brag on you. You've been on this show for nine years. We have never mentioned this. Tell the folks you're in a video game. I'm in a video game. <laughs> so there's there's a Project Runway video game, and I when when I was approached with this because they they gave it to they said they have room for six designers, seven designers on here, and they're like you know here's the fee you either take it or leave it, but like. I fully expected that I was going to have to put on like the green screen suit with the the golf balls on it, oh, and was like, I was ready to do all the things. And you, you and, uh, I, I Christopher think, thought he was Anakin Skywalker. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> with the harness like lifting me up. No, they just used like video and and imagery of me and stuff. Yeah. Okay, one more thing but before yeah, we move on. Project game for the Wii. Uh, I challenge you. I have a Wii. I'll play okay, that. I'll play we're as you. Together, yeah. We're doing this. Before yeah. I talk about this, one more thing about yeah. Project Runway. And again, you can watch this whole series on uh, Schmistifer's Instagram. You were known for this newspaper dress. Yes. Can you, Leo, can we roll that? Oh. Talk to me about this. So this is all newspaper. We went to the LA Times, and so I hand cut. Those are feathers made from newspaper. That's a bodice that is decoupaged. Oh, where, where, oh, sorry, I'm hearing, where is it? Yeah. The LA Times acquired that dress and is now on display, or they own it. It was on display in their lobby for, the, for a while. Christopher, that's, it's beautiful. Yeah. That's good work. Thank you, thank you. I'm so proud of you. Ooh, I do. I just, I'm so, <laughs> as a friend, I just am very proud of you because you know what, and you, I, let me just take in this compliment. Okay. There's a lot. There's a lot. It. There's a lot of reality shows. There are a lot of seasons within reality shows. Mm -hmm. And to turn your time, most people are forgotten. I mean, it's harsh, yes. uh -huh. but most people fall into oblivion after you have turned 
you have masterfully turned your time on that show. I had to. In season six into a lasting, yes. fantastic mm -hmm. career. Bravo yeah. to you. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. And that was the goal. It's not it was, easy. It was a business decision yeah. to go on the show and not just a selfish, like, I want to be on TV. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, speaking of your business, oh, speaking of there's business, a, I'm, yes. I'm looking at a lot of stuffed animals. What is this? Do we love this? Okay, so I am lucky enough, honored to design plushies for Fraser, yeah. uh, Center of Education and Resources for Families Affected by Autism. And we just launched our new little buddy. This is Tito the Tortoise, and he has the Fraser star on the back. You can go and you can get these two different ways. One is uh, Fraser.org. Click on store. You can buy these. They're twelve dollars a piece, or if you buy more than one. One, they're only 10 bucks a piece and I have a little, uh, two other little buddies that go with it we have fidget the dog and dolly the llama and you can go on and order those now online or show up to the Fraser festival uh, on April 6th you can go ahead and register online uh, and you can get free parking it's at the River Center here in Minneapolis St. Paul and you have a new book too yes I have uh, in addition to all this stuff I'm launching my eighth I published my eighth book. Incredible, oh, Christopher. Over, under, upside down, inside out. It's a way to get kids moving, and it's all based on my teddy bears that are what are called inside out bears, which are made with all the seams on the outside. How's the Jason the Jaguar character coming? Okay, well, it's um, it's in the the storyboard phase. Thank you. Good good answer, Christopher Straub. Everybody, <laughs> to pre-order his book, head to ChristopherStraub.com. And again, follow him on social for the Project Runway series. Schmistifer up next, Aldi Food Finds next. Back in a moment. Stay with us. Schmistifer. Let me look at this game.